Hey guys, today we're gonna talk about the body. And I'll introduce you a bit to how to draw both male and female bodies. But let's start from the beginning. Spheres, uh, cylinders, cubes, these are geometrical figures. And these are very important because these forms and shapes are everywhere. And if you combine them properly, well, you can create uh, figures like this guy over here so you can create people. See how happy he is? But it doesn't only really work for people, of course. You can also create cute uh, fat cats like this one over here. Or, well, even, well, awkward looking dogs, I guess. Yeah, this one's pretty awkward, but whatever. So, well, in my later tutorials, I've been talking about the guidelines we gotta use when we draw heads, which are more or less like a sphere, a circle, and some kind of square for the jaw, depending on its manliness. But we're not gonna be talking about heads today, we're gonna talk about the whole body, like this spaghetti stick figure in here. So, let's get to business. First, we'll be talking about the female body. The head is very important because it will define the size of everything in the rest of the body. Then we have the torso, which is the biggest figure in here, a triangle that will define the pubes, and let's keep in mind that the femur is the longest bone, so it has to be a longer part of the leg. Then we have the knee, like some kind of circle, and feet are kind of like triangles. We'll deepen about feet later. We'll talk about them because they are complicated and I really hate them. So. I'll make a special one. Okay, so then we have shoulders like spheres and, and then again the arms. There's a part that is longer. The forearm is slightly shorter. And since hands are also quite annoying, I'll actually talk about them later. But see more or less, you see. Okay, so have you seen that I just divided the body in seven parts. This belongs to the seven head canon, which it says that the human body is like seven times the size of the head to be proportional. Okay, uh, I added the breast in like pure shape, by the way, because I don't want to, you know, add these huge circles. And it's kind of crazy, like fake. And now let's talk about men his head and that will define every proportion and okay they have wider shoulders and flatter bigger torso then this triangle for the pubes and legs then again femur being longer feet are like some mixture of rectangle and triangle as I said we will work on feet later in another tutorial and arms again forearm is a bit shorter mm -hmm. okay this hand came out a bit big so I'll fix it right now but first uh, again let's check the seven head scanner which means that more or less everything is in its place. Okay, men have uh, bigger hands than women, by the way. And mostly hands have to be big enough to cover your face. Like, try it, you see that you can almost reach both chin and forehead with fingers. Okay, as I said, women and men have some differences. Uh, women are more uh, likely to have hourglass shape and men have uh, more, well, a flatter constitution, like a square. 
Women have uh, wider hips because of giving birth to children. And of course, we're going to talk about children right now. As a quick bonus. Because, as you see, children do not follow the seven heads canon. Because their head is uh, bigger than the regular adult. Okay, everything is quite tiny in children as you can see and well they are like TV kawaii fight humans if you will listen to some weird noises that's my dog again okay that's a cute pretty face yeah that's my dog <laughs> never mind him and as I said, uh, this is a uh, forehead size for a five-year-old kid, more or less. Okay, my dog is so annoying right now. Okay, so to sum up everything, as always, we're gonna draw something that is kind of a summary of everything we did. We're gonna draw a girl lying on the floor, probably sunbathing on the beach and this is going to be uh, interesting because it's more complicated than a standing up pose as you can see but of course the body figures and shapes and parts are the same exactly so we only have to think about them with uh, perspective and volume okay as you can see feet are like some triangle and rectangle with ankle and everything. Now shoulders and these cylinders that are going to be the arms. I'm gonna make her to be talking on the phone. Okay, like flexed um, and holding the kind of iPhone or smartphone, whatever thing. She's got and at the boobs uh, they are in some in contact with the floor so they are not in normal shape they are a bit like I don't know squashed <laughs> I don't know the word for it whatever forgive me if I said something disgusting or whatever because I really can't English so let's add an anime face and now I'll change the opacity and clean the lines for a while. So I'll add some music while you watch how it goes. And color so it's done and we've got an annoyed girl sunbathing in the beach <laughs> okay once again thank you a lot for watching for being such cutie patities and I uh, if you want to see more videos subscribe and join us and if you're already a subscriber well see you next time goodbye